Green Hat consulted to find the diversity of perspectives needed to complete the vision. We have found those passionate about the history, the architecture. For most, it's where they live. For some, it's where they work. Others are excited about the potential of connecting the vibrant cultural quarters of the city to the new campus Grange Gorman and the Smithfield Cultural Quarter. We discussed in the libraries, consulted with teachers, questioned on the street. Our conversation cafes were events designed to provide a creative space to stimulate discussions, create debates, inspire ideas from those inside and outside the development of the civic spine, ensuring the path to Parnell Square is what the people need. In face-to-face -face informal meetings, we listened, questioned and encouraged professional and local residents to share their thoughts. In this phase one of consultation, we held a wide variety of events, including an online survey, conversation cafes, and a mini street festival supporting a questionnaire survey. Space here currently is the limitation, but a new environment, a new building offers all sorts of opportunities. We frequently get requests for people to work in pairs, doing tutoring, literacy tutoring, and at the moment it's not really possible to accommodate that without interfering with other people's use of the library. I'd like to see a wider range of talking books. Uh, a big study area for students. More space. More seating, more um, brightness. For quieter spaces for studying and um, <laughs> more space like because all the seats are taken up when you get here, even during the evening time as well, especially. I'd like to just see the, the, the library a bit enlarged, more seating, sp more spaces for people to sit, to accommodate more people here. Lots of meeting rooms to, for language exchanges public toilets, nice, easily accessible public toilets, and lots of new books. Ce que j'aimerais, c'est qu'il y ait plus de livres, plus, généralement plus de livres, et pour chaque collection de livres, qu'ils aient tous les livres de la série. The library would be for absolutely everybody. It shouldn't be highbrow, because that might might uh, interfere or be a barrier to people, but this is place a place where every person in Dublin could feel that they could go to or that people visiting that there's something here that everybody will enjoy. What seems to me to come through is this idea that we want uh, innovation, we want freshness, we want to encourage people to explore that and to express that in all the dimensions, whether it's uh, traditionally culture uh, or reading or music or writing or performing uh, or business innovation design, so on. So I think that all of that feeds in. Uh, arguably, our church and churches generally stagnate with that and we need the challenge and and we need to be around creativity again ourselves. It needs to be welcoming, that it really needs to be open, that anyone, no matter what your background or what your, your thoughts around culture and so on, um, that, that it'd be a place that you'd, you'd walk into readily, that you wouldn't be scared of. Someone else has said that the days of books are numbered, you know, so perhaps the libraries could be much more a centre of information, which they are in book form, and they have a, an image of sort of stuffy academic image. And I think a change in that perception would go a great deal towards getting more people involved in the library. Children's library and a teenage zone would be absolutely superb because there really isn't any place for teenagers at the moment and currently you'd have six footers sitting down on little kindergarten seats and also their needs are maybe for more social interaction but also that we could provide them with resources in a space that's suitable for their particular needs. Family, families that can come in so where parents can browse um, uh, books relating to parenting or to do their own reading but that their children are in sort of isolation they're in their line of vision as well and that it's safe, that this, the place would be safe and useful for them. I like to see more DVDs in the new library. National schools are not aware enough of the library and I think that there should be booklets left in the national schools, each national school, and say look this is where the library is in Dublin or where it is and uh, I think it's important. I'd like to see a little play area for, where you can leave the children for about an hour, an hour and a half so you can go and 
you can browse the books, sit down, have a little read, uh, maybe get, go get a cup of coffee or something like that while they're on a little break. Actually, a nice kiddie area. You know, just a big area that they could just focus on for themselves and I have to be yeah, watching them running up and down, you know what I mean, in case they could fall like a horse, somewhere that's spacious. I like an area where I can watch DVDs. More focus on the kind of like DVDs and movies and series and stuff like that would be kind of cool, I guess, for people my age or kind of, I don't know, to get people more excited to go to the library, I don't know. An atrium sort of area where you would have choirs and maybe people public speaking, etc., could use as a, a kind of a backdrop to the library experience because uh, what you gain in books you can put into performance. A facility there that would actually show the, the, all the theatrical material that's on hand already, but extend that hugely and bring in performance and, and you know, add to that so that we could celebrate other writers who are no longer with us, but also contemporary playwrights. A fluid and flexible place that connects with the rest of the city. So yes, it's a destination, but it's part of a route. Like I like that idea of it being part of the civic spine or whatever. Um, and that those other resources that are in the area, that you're kind of um, plugging into those from this space. I believe music is the medium to get people into the library. You may want to have certain commercial um, entities come in, like cafes, shops or whatever, and you have to be very careful about that and sort of uh, think about how that balance is going to be achieved and what way it should look like. But also... I heard there's a big talk about really including the locals, making it a 24-7 place that's busy, that's uh, attractive, that people go there for lots of different reasons. I think we would like to have um, plenty of services to help job seekers. Again, maybe referrals um, to other agencies, maybe um, experts on hand who can help people with their CVs, help people with cover letters and job applications generally. So Laura knew it, she on top of the Gamatamish, the Hundred No Kern at the Inish of Larlan. Yeah.